children now it's our exercise time there are some exercise in the workbook for the lesson 19 time so the first exercise is tick the correct answer so there are three questions given you have two options for each question so check the option which is the correct answer give a tick in the square box so the first question how many months are there in a year in a year, how many months are the children? Option A, 12. Option B, 24. So we have 12 months in a year, isn't it? Yes, so option A is the correct answer. So give a tick here. Second, how many hours are there in a day? Each day is divided into hours. So one day is equal to how many hours? Option A, 20. Option B, 24. Yes. In a day, we have 24 hours. One day is equal to 24 hours. So, tick here. 12, day, 12 hours in the daytime, we have 12 hours in the nighttime. So, total 24 hours we have in a day. Third one, a leap year has option A, 366 days. Option B, 365 days. So, in a leap year, we have one day extra. Every year we have 365 days, but in a leap year we have, yes, option A is the correct answer. We have 366 days in a leap year. Put a tick mark, okay? So, first one, how many months are there in a year? Option A, 12 is the answer. Second, how many hours are there in a day? Option B, 24 is the answer. Third one, a leap year has option A, 366 days, okay? Children, so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 2, fill in the blanks. So first one, a day is divided into three parts, morning, dash and evening. A day is divided into three parts, we know morning, then afternoon and evening, isn't it? So morning, then afternoon, A-F-T-E-R. N O O N afternoon and evening. Second, we can see the moon and the stars at at what time we can see moon and the stars in the daytime or in the night time? At night. So we can see the moon and the stars at night. N I G H T night. N I G H T night. Third one, the last fill up. A day is also divided into dash hours. We know one day is divided into, yes, 24 hours. 2, 4, 24. So, first one, a day is divided into three parts. Morning, afternoon and evening. Second, we can see the moon and the stars at night. Third one, a day is also divided into 24 hours. A day is divided into three parts. At the same time, the day is divided into 24 hours. Okay. Now, the next exercise in the workbook. Exercise 3. Draw hands of the clock to show the time. So, here you can see the image. You can see the image here, children. The images of clocks are given. And time is given here. Read the time and you have to draw the minute hand and the hour hand in the clock that shown there. You have to draw the hands of the clock. The minute hand, the longer one, and hour hand, the shorter one. So first one is 1250. 1250 means, yes, the 50, 1250. 12, 12, How you will draw? Yes. The minute hand, the bigger one, it shows 50. So, well, after 9, 10 is 50. And the smaller hand you can see on the 12. You can mark on the 12. 12, 50. You have to draw the image or draw the hands of the cloak. The hour hand at 12 and the minute hand at 10 you have to draw. Then... 145 145 how you have to draw one now the time is 145 so one one at word at one itself then 45 means at nine isn't it the minute hand will come at nine and the smaller hand our one our hand will come at 
one like that you have to draw the hands of the clock now third one is 230 230 so 2 the the our hand smaller hand at 2 then the bigger one the minute hand at 30 means were at 6 so 230 smaller will be at 2 and uh, the bigger one minute hand at 6 we say the last one 215 again the our hand or smaller hand is at 2 then 15 means 3 so the minute hand will be at 3 so if you know how to read the time if you know to calculate the time then you can easily draw this though the hands of the clock uh, uh, compare uh, accordingly to the timings given so here four images are there under that timings are given see the time and you have to draw draw on the clock clock they have shown there and timings also numbers also they have mentioned except one two then 12 is there then one two then three four five six is there seven eight not the 9 is the then 10 11 then 12 so the, the on that image on that clock you have to draw the timings of 1250 huh? as i said 1250 the uh, smaller hand at 12 and the bigger hand at 50 means after 9 10 then 145 the smaller hand at 1 and 45 minutes is 9 minute hand will be at 9 230 the smaller hand at 2 and the longer hand will be at 30 means 6 the last 215 the smaller hand at 2 and uh, the bigger hand at 15 okay children so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 4 write the names of the missing days you have to write the names of the missing days so some days are missing here you have to write the names so starting from sunday yes sunday is here then next is yes monday m o n d a y monday after monday comes tuesday t u e s d a y tuesday then comes wednesday it is there then after wednesday which day yes it's thursday t h u r s d a y thursday then comes friday it is the then after friday comes yes saturday s a t u r d a y saturday so sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so missing days you have to fill up okay it's so easy isn't it you know the number of days seven days forms a week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday okay children so next exercise in the workbook is fifth exercise let's answer so there are a few questions given you have to answer to those questions one two three four four questions are there let's see what are these questions so, yes children come on read the first question which is the first question here how many days are there in a leap year so you learned about leap year in leap year we have one extra day isn't it yes so how many days are there in a leap year answer there are 366 days in a leap year we have 366 days in a leap year second how many months have 31 days some months have 30 days some months have 31 days so how many months have 31 days answer seven months seven months have 31 days isn't it yes starting from january january how many days we have children january we have 30 only then february we have 28 to 29 then march 31 april we have 30 then may 31 then june 30 july 31 august also 31 then september 30 october 31 november 30 december 31 isn't it so how many months yes seven months we have 31 days january onwards isn't it? january we have 31 january we have 31 then february 28 or 29 
so january 31 then comes march 31 then comes may 31 then july 31 august 31 then now then october 31 last december 31 so seven so seven months have 31 days then which month has the least number of days yes only in february we have few days other months have 30 or 31 february we have 28 days uh, but in leap year we have 29 so february month has the least number of days f e b r u a r y february the last question how many months are there in a year in a year how many months we have there are 12 months in a year so first question how many days are there in a leap year there are 366 days in a leap year second question how many months have 31 days answer seven months have 31 days third question which month has the least number of days answer february month has the least number of days and last how many months are there in a year there are 12 months in a year okay children so next is let's do it what you have to do let's see so page number 40 in your workbook you have an exercise to do take a cardboard cut it into a circle with the help of your parents and write numbers as shown below there is an image of a clock shown see same like that you have to draw this uh, now or write the numbers how first you have to take a cardboard ask your parents to cut and give in the form of a circle with the help of your parents cut the cardboard into the shape of a circle then write the numbers as shown here isn't it image you can see here then attach two sticks to it take two small sticks and attach to it one for minute hand one for hour hand it to be used as a minute hand and an hour hand Move the minute hand and hour hand and try to tell time at different points. This is a good way, a good technique to learn uh, time. Okay, so take a cardboard with the help of your parents ask or ask your parents to cut into a circular shape, round shape. Then mark the uh, timings that shown the 12, then 1, 2, not the 3, then 4, 5, then they have only marked one. Uh, hi, uh, one small point isn't it one small hyphen then six seven eight not the nine ten eleven twelve so mark this uh, uh, numbers on that or write these numbers and take a small sticks and one small stick for our hand little most big stick for minute hand then you just uh, move both the minute hand and our hand and try to tell the timings at different points you can now the time is what the image shown you can see the time the the minute hand is at 12 hour hand is at 3 so it's 3 o'clock now you move the minute hand and hour hand and try to tell the different times at different points okay so do this uh, activity at home with the help of your parents and uh, try uh, read the timings or learn the timings okay children thank you